Guys, life just went full circle for me. So you guys won't believe what just happened. So what I, guys, what I want you guys to do first is watch the first half of this video that I made this morning when I was at a very low point, a very, very low point. And I want you guys to watch this video in its entirety because you guys are going to see just how a couple hours can completely transform your day and your entire outlook in life. You guys want to know what it's like to be an entrepreneur. You guys want the entrepreneur life for all you young guys out there. You know, I've come to the realization that this life is extremely difficult. Um, it's constant stress and something I've learned over the last three years since leaving my day job is that every single hour of every single minute awake and asleep <laughs> you're you're constantly thinking about your business you're constantly thinking about your finances you're constantly just thinking about the issues that are going on this life is very difficult and I'm here to share with you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. And yes, you know, um, your, your finances is extremely important. And, and having an abundance of money allows you to do a lot more things than if you don't have money. And, but there's a cost to that. And that's what I want really everyone to understand is that there is a cost to financial freedom and regardless of what everyone puts out there on social media it's not all glamour and that's what everyone seems to think it is and at the beginning to be honest it was it was pretty simple it was pretty easy uh, but then you realize that you have to fill that time void and that's when you start taking on other projects and you want to grow as a person you want to grow your business because after all what got you there was your investment philosophy your hard work your dedication and you want to ensure that that never goes away so what you end up doing is you end up working even more and it's a life of constant stress and work and someone i recently spoke with who's not financially free or you know doesn't necessarily care about money and but someone who knows me very well and said like your stress tolerance is extremely high and he was talking kind of about himself and how if he was to deal with the crap that I deal with on a daily basis and the constant the, the constant issues, the constant stress, the constant worry, I guess. He said that there's no way that he'd be able to do it. And this is a very strong individual. Um, and he said that he's more like the average person. This is coming from him. And he said that this life isn't what people necessarily want. And I'm coming to realize that as I progress in this financial freedom journey and as I set bigger and bigger goals, I don't know if this is the life that most people want. I think they think they, they want it because they know of the freedom that it can provide, but that freedom comes at a cost, right? The freedom comes at a cost because... I'll give you guys a perfect example. It's been five days now where I haven't slept more than four or five hours. That is because of stuff we got going on in the business, stuff that's going on in the markets, new business ventures, previous issues coming back um, that weren't handled correctly the first time. That's a learning experience. And just the constant stress of you got to keep going. You got to keep going forward. You got to keep pushing your limits. I don't think this is the life that most people dream of when they reach financial independence, but this is the truth of it. Because 
it's funny what I hear from people on social media. I talk with other influencers and I talk to them about, hey, you know, what's going on in your business? What are some challenges? But they never make those challenges public. They never make them public because that's not clickbaity. That's not what people want to hear. But, you know, again, I'm here to tell you guys the real life of, of, of this life of entrepreneurship and, and financial freedom. And it's not sunshine and rainbows. It's a very hard life. And it's just a constant life of stress. And now there's this trade-off I'm trying to deal with where how much is enough to stop pursuing some of these these goals and to stop trying to take on new things and 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 grow this 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 business and this real estate portfolio and all these other investments we have on the go. I definitely don't think I've reached my my potential and that's something that's always going to bother me and that's why I keep going I keep going because I know that there's so much potential I have and if I don't reach it I will regret it if, sorry if I don't work towards it I will regret it for the rest of my life because that's just the type of person I am and that is a double-edged sword and I wanted to share that with you guys to let you guys know that if your goal is to become a full-time entrepreneur and be financially free at a younger age, there is consequences. And money doesn't necessarily make you happy, but money does buy you freedom and does give you a hell of a lot of options. But the only people that can say that, that money doesn't make you happy, is people who have money, right? Right? You, if you're broke, you're, you can't say that because you have no idea. I want to share that with you guys to let you guys know this is real. This is real life entrepreneurship. This is real life financial freedom. And uh, I'm trying to, to push forward, but there's a lot of ups and downs with this. And right now there's a lot of downs going on with the business. Just a lot of issues. It's nothing that's going to cause financial ruin or anything like that or... It's nothing like that. It's just like this constant stress of issues coming up and coming up and coming up. And I know that that's real estate, but it's just, it's never ending. So I wanted to share that with you guys, give you guys an idea of what it's really like, what I'm currently going through uh, in this business and hope that um, you guys at least get the true meaning of entrepreneurship and financial freedom. So guys, the outlook now. It's crazy just what a few hours can do and a little bit of, I don't know if it's meditation or whatever it is. So you guys saw that first half of that video. I was clearly very down. Um, tons of stress has been going on in our business. Um, and I'm talking tens of thousands of dollars of expenses have come out of nowhere. And I was at this point where I even thought of maybe this is a time where I sell absolutely everything and just go live life. Then I decided that I needed to figure out how to de-stress and clear my mind and something I haven't done in a while because it's winter and we were away and is that at least three, four times a week, I go walk down the beach that's near my house and it's about a 45 minute to a one hour walk. And I just did that today. Again, you guys saw the first half of this video. It was clearly very down. And I was walking and it wasn't until my way back. And I just said, like, there's somebody out there. Give me a sign on what to do. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about this. And what just happened. So all of a sudden I got this thought that it was... 16 year old Colton and 16 year old Colton wanted to be his own boss and life just came full circle I just realized this now that I am getting exactly what I asked for about being my own boss 
And I reflected on that. Honestly, guys, like I had goosebumps on this. And I just stopped on my way back. And it's cold out, right? It's a gloomy day. It's not a nice day. And I just thought about that for a second that I wanted to be my own boss. And I am getting served what it's like being your own boss. And then I reflected on the point that if I was a boss of a company, I'd be dealing with the same shit but I wouldn't get all the upside and all the reward. I would just get that paycheck. So as I began walking again, something incredible happened. Like you guys see that it, it, it it's dark now, right? Like it, it was dark my entire walk. And as soon as I had that reflection in my head and I realized that what I'm going through right now is exactly what I asked for. Literally the sun came out. And I'm not very spiritual or religious or whatever it is, but the sun came out. And it was like you just had a massive reflection on life. Absolutely incredible. So what I want you guys to, to understand is that if you're feeling down, you're feeling out, right? That you're ready to give up. Maybe it's go for a walk. I left my phone in the car. I just had... A little bottle of water and I went for a walk to clear my mind to clear my head and I had this massive reflection I think if I do this more often I can de-stress by just going on these walks I get a clarity of mind and my thinking and I think if you guys implement that it when you're down days you can definitely get a full circle moment like I just had absolutely incredible